Hi, uh, my name's Sarah and this month's Guardian Camera Club is about texture. Texture is something I try and be constantly aware of and constantly try and notice new things with interesting textures and think of ways to make them work within different types of images. For example, this patch of wall here that we found rather conveniently um, by the canal has lots of things in it that I find interesting. The texture is great, brickwork is something that I use a lot and is to be honest a little bit of a get out of jail free card uh, for trying to make a picture more interesting in an otherwise unprepossessing area. Wow, well these are great. Um, walking along the canal uh, found a very old school barge and a pile of sandbags uh, which are not in themselves things of great beauty but as a detail and with this lovely light and shadow that makes the texture of the old-fashioned sort of hessian sacks um, even more interesting I think they'd be great as a detail they wouldn't be particularly interesting to help with a portrait but they certainly would if you were shooting a story texture would illustrate details it'd be very nice as part of a set with wider shots to illustrate a context and then close-ups that kind of really give a feel of the uh, subject. Actually, I've just noticed another example of uh, how texture could be used for details as part of a story. The light hitting this rope reflecting from the um, water, you've got really nice light um, and sort of the texture of the greasy film on the water and the old gnarled up slimy rope. The rope is even less beautiful than the sack actually but you get a really good example of how awareness of texture can elevate something uh, to hopefully being a good photographic example of texture illustrating a story. Obviously the natural world is as full of interesting textures as the man-made one um, and you'd photograph them in different ways and for different reasons. Black and white photographs are purely about how the texture works and how the light works with the texture. These are colour photographs and uh, you're considering the different greens and the way the light affects the colour. I think it would work best actually um, maybe with a sort of mid aperture so you can see both the texture of these sort of dead buds and you know the shape of the leaf and the rather aggressive red thorns. Well we were lucky enough walking along the canal um, to bump into someone who was willing to have their picture taken to illustrate another very uh, important example of how texture works in photography um, in portraiture, how a person's skin photographs which is a very interesting natural texture. I'm just focusing on the hair on his face. for a detail. In fact, this might work quite well with anonymous portraiture if you were trying to give a sense of a person without revealing their identity, which you sometimes need to do with newspaper photography. Here we have one of the most lovely textures found in uh, nature, which we just came across by uh, chance. A beautiful spider web, um, which is obviously light reflecting and sort of silky in texture. And I'm trying to use the shape of the uh, railing on the side of the canal to give some sort of contrast to the intricate pattern of the spider web, but and then just sort of zoom in so you've got a sense of the texture of the silk with the moisture catching the light. <laughs> 